of being personal, approachable, but still guarded, because you control what goes up on YouTube. Now, Twitter, I look at Twitter as your facts, your headline machine. People start following you, you follow people, you're looking for what's hot right now, what's hot right now. That's why we get on there as business owners. We want to know, okay, so I'm looking in here, I got RFP Depot, I got all these different groups. Whoa, look, oh, San Francisco just dropped this new RFP, it just came out a second ago. Let's move, 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 move. Pull it up on the internet, call somebody, what's going on? That's what we use it for. And the same happens if I do something big in the market, which I never post to Facebook or any of these sites anymore because I moved on to other things. But I'm telling you as a business owner how I do it. So I'm always monitoring these because it's like it's free. Okay, so with all that said, the biggest mistake most of you will probably make is having some type of auto capture system. Because again, you just made that Oprah shift with your business. And so now all of a sudden you just went from talking to a few thousand people to now you're talking to a few million people. And depending on the product or service that you offer, you must be able to actually catch them, receive them, service them, get referrals from them. So the main things we use in a referral system is how many of you have an 800 number? Because we're international now, remember? Or even if we're national. So you do a great job here in the city of Houston with a government agency. You don't think there's not another government agency? You don't think, think somebody just got a new job somewhere that you saw on LinkedIn. They don't know what to do because it's kind of big old stuff when they have to get out, but they need to fix this department real quick. And they're going to travel the world to find out who can help them fix that department real quick. And they look on here, they see you, and great things happen. So you need the 800 number. I pay 20 some bucks a month for 800 number. They call me from anywhere in the world. It goes to this phone, her phone, their phone, anywhere I want it to go. They can also send me text messages. If I don't answer, it sends me a text message of what they said. So it's something to think about. The next thing, well, let me just, uh, relationship management. How many of you still use an act, outlook, things like that to manage contacts? No one? Okay. It's important to realize that you're going to get a flood, folks. You've got to understand, we're here in America now. The rest of the world is growing at a rate. We're so, maybe some of you have traveled a little, but the world is growing so fast. The opportunities are so great right now that unless you have something like this in place, it's going to blow right past you. And then when we get to the point of the haves and the have-nots, you're going to have picked your team. So relationship management is another thing you need to look at, whether it's acts, so you can elevate the content. They need to be able to email you, send you a message, whatever it is, or phone you. Now, here's the part you all love. Get the commitment, get the close. So depending on the type of business you have, it's important to understand that I use things like Eventbrite, which you said earlier, because if I want to hold a function like this, how'd y'all get here? You went to Eventbrite, it was free. If you don't charge, they don't charge. So this helps me close the deal. Because I got you here. I got the commitment. Okay? I also use online appointments. One of the things I really got tired of were people coming up to me talking about, um, John, I heard you in the business. Um, when you look at my, you're on that business plan competition whole uh, team thing. You, you were judges, right? Yeah. Can you help me create my business plan? Yeah, sure can. Let me give you my, uh, let me give you this little contact information. Go to my website and, and get a hold of me. They go to the website. There's an online scheduler. I pay nine bucks a month for my scheduler. They go as high as 80 bucks a month for a scheduler. The scheduler is no different than what you use to book your hotel, book your flight. So the public is already familiar with this. We don't have to retrain them in this. All of you need a scheduler. Why? Because they don't have to call my manager. They don't have to call my office. They look, oh, John's available at, hmm, let me see, 6 or, I'll take the 12 o'clock slide. The beautiful part, because I didn't want to be stuck out there listening to somebody tell me about their great business and how it's so wonderful and it's going to make millions and da 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 At the end, when you finish this transaction to close it, it requires a $250 deposit. And that's just me being nice. And it sure weeds them out fast. So when I roll up out here, she'll like, and I'll let that, give, give, give a number. And then you'll book me. Because you all have to do that. All of you are very intelligent people. And you know people are picking you to death, and sometimes you grow tired of it. So schedule is important. Lastly, e-commerce system. If you're going to go online, you don't have an e-commerce system, you might as well go home. I don't care if you're selling tickets to light rail. I don't care what you're doing. If you can't do it online, if I cannot reach into my phone and give you my money, we don't have a deal. Because there are more cell phones with internet connection out there than there will ever be computers, people. You travel outside the U.S. of A, this is the mode in which all things take place. And so I build applications to make sure that I can send whatever I want to do, I want the world to dance. I will build an application to make the world to dance because I realize currently this is what's hot. So with that said, we got the e-commerce. Any questions at this point? Because I haven't taken a breath. <sighs>
Yes, sir. In the back. Yeah. What What examples of schedulers do you do you suggest? What like you said, schedulers. Yes. As far as schedules, this is the one. Now, usually when I get into some, the question was, which scheduler would I recommend or do I suggest? Correct. Yes. Okay. So I'm currently using one called web slash appointments online. The reason being is they have an affiliate program, a referral program. So you can get on there, you set it up. Now the, the, the biggest problem or issue I have with this service is it's hard to customize unless you're a programmer. But outside of that, it works great. I use it for my, um, my massage people, I use it for my hair people, I use it for my attorneys, anything like that because it allows you to dictate what time, uh, what your pricing fee is, it accepts payments. If somebody decides to schedule, it comes to my phone. So it was web appointments, web hyphen appointments.com. And the beautiful part is you got a 30 day trial on it. Now, the crazy part a lot of the, the fancier websites run close to $79, 39 to $79 for the exact same service. Remember, a website is just a bunch of folks sitting around writing code. It's nothing really that deep, okay? So, what they're doing is they're saying my product is worth more because I market it better. And I'm saying, which one of you just get the job done with redundancy systems? So did that answer the question as far as, but I had looked at hundreds of appointment schedules, played with them all night, loaded them all up to my site, tried to make them look the way I wanted to look, and this was the one that stuck with me. Um, E-commerce system, there's a lot that goes with that, but you have to start entertaining the idea. If you're contracting out somebody to do this for you, how does your e-contract system or e-commerce system work? And that's why I switched to Drupal because there's components and modules that we can pull into this system. Just like you want to add, say you just bought a new car and you want new floor mats, great. You just buy it and add it in there. You want new a wing or spoiler or tent, we just add it into the system and it usually doesn't break it. And so the main reason I stuck with Drupal, other than the module, is because I have 60 score guys that like to jump online and destroy websites, okay? And so they're like, I don't know what happened. I just uploaded a picture from our lab. I'm like, oh my God, the thing is over here now. What did you do? With this, they can't do it. So just be mindful of that. If you're going to have a lot of interaction with your website. Uh, the question was, how do you spell Drupal? D-R-U-P-A-L dot org. It's open source. It's free. You don't need Dreamweaver and all this other stuff to make it work. I can go and do crazy stuff to add content right now to my website from my phone. Because back in the day, I had to do, you know, I had the software and I had to have Photoshop and all this other stuff. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The question was, how do you spell it again? D-R-U-P-A-L, and it's .org. So Drew Pohl, crazy name. It's named after the guy that created it. And if, they have a lot of great examples. Yes, sir? I'll make it available. Uh, you guys have a mailing list. Did they have a mailing? Did you have to register? Okay, I will give it to them, and they, yes, I'll send it in, and we'll go from there, okay? Ready? And here we go. So now that we have this auto capture system, it doesn't matter how many people flood your door. Just think about it. if you said, I'm going to start training because I've been doing this so long and I want to sell my business, but my kids don't want it, my daughter doesn't want it, my, my wife doesn't, and I've got to get rid of this business. So you get rid of the business and now you're going to go out and tell other people around the world how to create the business that you created. Okay? So that's what you do now. That's what I encourage everybody to do. So you put that online and now thousands of people all of a sudden want to talk to you. You're going to make money every single time because they don't have to pick up the phone to call you. They just schedule it. And there's a few more tools we use here at the end. I'm a big fan of video conferencing. I do not like getting out of my pajamas. I do not like taking my kid to daycare. Okay? So I'd rather you just say, hey, when are we going to meet? And I'll turn on my laptop just like Todd does on that whole extreme home makeovers. And I'll talk to you. Hey, family, how you doing? And I'll talk to you. I had the opportunity to meet the lady that, um, I can't even remember the lashes, she's like the number one, she makes the, the curl lashes lady, the brush thingies, it was at the American Express open thing, I, I don't know, but she was handing out lash, uh, brushes. Anyway, all of her stuff is done through Uvu, the little face-to-face -face on, it's like Yahoo Messenger, it's like Skype, and all her business meetings, now she's running a multi-million dollar company, not million like, oh, five or six, no, multi like hundred million. And she's just, she's like, she sits in there by her fireplace, and she calls all her sales reps, and they chat, 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 chat through Uvu. My daughter does the same thing. I'll look, I'll walk past, and there's like six of them on the screen. I'm thinking, how much does that cost? What are we paying for this? Oh, no, it's free. We're all in the group room. I'm like, wow. So with that said, we'll go on. How many of you can accept merchant or uh, credit cards, plastic? 
Okay, I need to get 100% out of you guys, okay? Because here's the deal. I can shut all this down if you can't take plastic. Because if you can't take plastic, we're going to, you know, we're trying to save trees now, okay? And you don't want to have to deal with exchange rates and things like that. I know it's no one in here, but even if you have poor credit, you can always start with PayPal. If you have concerns, whatever the situation is, you must be able to take a American Express, a MasterCard, or a Visa, maybe a Discover, but you have to. Because now by not being able to do that, whether it's a college student in their dorm, or a recruiter clear out and wherever, or somebody with signature authority that needs no approval, they don't need anybody's help up to $250,000. And they pull out that American Express and they just go, no, where am I sending it? Okay. But you can't do it because you're sitting there like, I don't know, I don't, I'm thinking about it, I was going to talk to my bank, and I don't, I don't. So tonight, if you do not have a merchant account, now here's how it works. Google Pay and PayPal are third-party systems. Man, basically, they manage it. They pay nothing. They get the information, they make the transaction through a third-party bank, and they deposit your money into your bank account at some point in the future. Pretty good about it. If you Google this, you will see people have happy stories, people have sad stories. But we're all old enough how to mitigate and take care of contingencies and worry about liabilities and all that other stuff. Now, the next thing is merchant account. A merchant account is what the bank actually provides for you. So the next time you're in there with your banker, you're like, hey, uh, I need a merchant account. So oh, good credit, I need to sell more stuff. And so they'll get you set up in the best merchant account you can get. So every time, the reason they got us all swiping cards now, the reason we're all swiping cards now, I, I feel bad because some like my babysitter says, I don't want to swipe it because she has to pay that three, four, five percent, but I get the rewards. <laughs> Sorry. I'll, just, I'll take her out to eat or something, you know. So I'm saying merchant account is very important. Know your e-banking products. Like I said, go in and talk to them. Uh, we had an issue with fraud a while back. Um, I'm sitting there at the computer. I'm in Houston, and the way it's set up, uh, next thing I know, my phone vibrates, and I'm looking at it like, hmm, okay, uh, Let's see, uh, I just spent $500 at an ATM. Hold on, this is in El Paso. El Paso what? Okay, my wife's upstairs, my kid is only two, he can't reach the buttons. Whoa, I just did it again, and again. And so immediately I get on the phone and say, hey, what's going on? Chase says, hold on, we'll look at it, we'll look at it. Okay, so you're at home right now, I'm at home, okay? You don't even have to send in the affidavit, we realize this is fraud, not a problem. Money was refunded to the account before the next day started. Because they yanked me for 1500 bucks just like that. So, and it didn't have anything to do with this. This was as simple as a POS system in some of our major big box retail stores. Had a little bit of a sneaky person. That person grabbed the cards and on and on. You can Google the story. So, making money in your sleep really has to do with all this. Now, what I alluded to before was this whole electronic exchange zone thing. If you're going to do business with large organizations, you must go electronic because they're going electronic. Because the push to get electronic and digital is what's happening. So, you look at the process because, remember, you digitized your content. You pretty much digitize or package your solution. So now you need to look at different ways you can electronically deliver your product or service. So in looking at it, you have e-learning platforms. So for many of you, I uh, use like WizIQ, which is like 50 bucks a year. Um, if you've taken any online classes, and you'll notice that they have this neat little platform you can use. Well, you have access to that same stuff. You want to start training people. And again, if we look at the list of all the people you need, this gives you the tool to say, instead of running out to California to train your new sales staff or running out to wherever to visit your vendors, you can train them online using these e-learning platforms. And this is all connected back to this social media thing because it's all online. It's all one big picture as business owners. Now, the virtual office, I love virtual offices. That's what I was saying with the whole, basically similar to video conferences. But we can sit down with GoToMeetings and all these other different platforms, and we can just meet. You can see what's on my desk, I can see what's on your desk, we can write, shake hands, we can do all this stuff, and in the end, if we must, we'll get on planes or in trains and we'll visit each other and shake hands and sign a deal. But we don't have to keep having these meetings, I'm not a meetings fan. And so lastly, the main tools I'll tell you to take away with you. Uh, free internet, internet's not gonna stay free for long, I guarantee this, I guarantee this, and I guarantee this some more. Right now, you're sitting on it, you don't even think, oh, the internet's free, I just look up what time the movie starts. Water used to be really inexpensive, right? 